Hello, fellow humans. So I'll try something different instead of uh, the usual. Hey, guys. So, um, very interesting video we have here. Um, a lot to get through, as usual. Let me just double check. It is um, recording. Yes. So, first up, rocks thrown towards researcher and rocks thrown away from from him. Now, um, this really adds to the credibility of the, of the video when you have stones being thrown and footsteps in the foliage and uh, bipedal footsteps, of course. And I've done something different here, as you can see, I'm work the way I'm working, instead of just recording the screen, um, as you can see, you can see the timeline here, so when I sort of scroll and... Uh, move along you can see what's going on so what I'll do I'll just play this small section here none, none of this is in order by the way in order of the video it's just uh, it's kind of mixed up uh, but anyway I'll just play this and you can hear the actual stone hitting the ground or hitting um, something one more time Can you see any stones? Just scroll along here. So I believe there's a stone coming across this direction. And by the way, there is a Sasquatch in this a uh, particular frame, this uh, this image, more than one. Some of you will all already know, as I've shown you some stills from this. So here we're looking at, we're trying to find the stone, or s uh, stones actually, plural. There's one here, this is the actual stone here. Um, just scrolling forward, so it's being thrown in the opposite direction away. I'll just play that, this short section, um, and just watch here. There's no audio on this, this part. See that? And I believe it's coming from this direction here. Go back a bit. There. Just here. Playing. I believe that's a stone. I cannot be certain. And here also, here, I'll just see the whole picture what I'm talking about here. You see a stone fl uh, flying from, seems to be down from this area upwards, and you can see it passing the tree and going away into this dark area here. Scrolling forward, back, forward, you see that stone there? And if you watch here, you'll see it pass. There. There. And going away from the, the person filming, which is, I think, quite unusual. So what I did, just play that, see? So what I did, I, I thought I'll have a look in this area below, see if there's anything that could uh, throw this stone. Uh, which would be around here somewhere. I couldn't see anything here. Um, I know it's kind of ridiculous, really. I mean, what what could be here that could throw um, a stone? But what I did notice was um, something around here when I took a closer look, which could possibly be a young one. The face is kind of uh, the right side um, of the face, um, two eyes there, ear, uh, right ear, um, mouth, nose, the top of the head, the back, um, right arm, right leg, knee, kind of scroll forward, just possibly see movement there as well. 
I'll just slow it down. That could be a blink or it could just be um, the screen, the uh, quality of the image. But I think this could possibly be something here. I'm not saying that this is the uh, the one responsible for throwing the stone. I'm just saying that there is something there. Symmetrical muscle tone is what makes the uncredible credible. Um, this is just my um, my view, what I believe. So we're taking a closer look here now. Same scene with the stone throwing. As I said, there is a Sasquatch here. Uh, one blending in front of this tree. That's right, you heard me say blending. That's correct. So what's happening, basically the camera or the phone is, or the camera, whatever device it is, is, is just getting used to the to the picture. So the it's focusing and getting the right exposure to the sunlight. So as you can see, it goes kind of brighter here. So that's what's going on as it goes brighter. And um, the ex exposure is adjusting automatically, I guess. So that's why it kind of looks like this. So what we're looking at this point here, in front of this tree, from this point downwards, scrolling forward. So when I say symmetrical muscle tone, I mean, obviously, um, when you when you, when you put um, a line. Yeah, this is this is the main individual I'm talking about. I'll I'll come back to this uh, soon, but um, okay, let's just use this guy quickly when you put a line straight vertical line straight down through the middle um, either side is symmetrical so you have the the belly button here and muscles on either side which are the same and the uh, nipple and the breast uh, the muscle here and the arms the left shoulder right shoulder is around here and of course the eyes and <laughs> The conical head and we have one here also this is the first one I want to point out kind of scrolling forward as you can see the um, cursor the pointer here moving left to right as the camera adjusts is a more enhanced uh, version of the contrast let's look at the, um, the scrolling forward Look here. Uh, where is it? Oh. Maybe I need to zoom in more. There. Look at that. Same thing with this one. Symmetrical muscle tone on either side. And I have uh, black and white. I mean, this particular one is not as um, defined, but here you see the face clearly half of the face, which is unusual, isn't it? Uh, it could mean that it's um, behind this uh, foliage here. I, uh, I really don't know, you know, what's going on, to be honest, in that situation. Here's um, still, I've put together kind of an analysis. And I've zoomed in to the eye, and you can actually see, I haven't, in I haven't manipulated this only um, contrast and you can see the actual tear duct or the corner of the eye just there obviously the pupil and the white area of the eye very um, good detail there okay next I'm on to the um, what looks like a male I think that they're both males or that could be a female. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm just really amazed by this. I really am, how they blend in. I don't know if this is cloaking, or what. And if you don't like to, if you don't like hearing this word from me, I don't like the word cloaking myself. I'm just going to say blending. But um, if you don't like me talking about this, then you can, you know, feel free to unsubscribe. 
because you're going to hear a lot more of this blending and uh, the word transparent is, is going to come up quite a few times. But here we have a Sasquatch which is blending in. By the way, please don't forget to watch the original. Uh, I'll leave a link. So what I've done here is uh, I'm merging the two images together just to give you a, a this this is unedited this one absolutely unedited so these lines are actually there in the actual image but here I've um, highlighted the area in Photoshop just to give you an idea if you still can see clearly where it, where it is and by the way I think there's another one here this is the face of another uh, Sasquatch. Okay, so and then and then the camera just pans to the right. Obviously, nothing I can do about that. And another enhancement. Another one, and I've added these lines for a bit of comedy. So as you can see, like I say, symmetrical muscle tone and even the head um, clearly symmetrical on both sides. Shoulder and you can see the crease here of the arm, where the arm is and, and even here you can see uh, where it goes inwards, um, the muscle and the creases and everything. And this is the forearm, um, obviously the bicep. Ah, uh, jeez, this video is going to take a long time. You might want to step back a bit from the screen here, um, because I believe there is a baby on the shoulder, holding on onto the left shoulder, onto the neck of the uh, of this one here. See the face? Obviously, I, I cannot be certain, but this is just my observation. And um, possible movement on the shoulder there. And you're probably thinking, oh, what? Ah, oh, my eyes, or oh, I cannot watch anymore. Which is fair enough, I don't blame you. Just there. Backside. Um, left leg. On the shoulder. And the left arm of the young one. So this is the head, remember, of the adult or juvenile okay moving on uh, if you think that's uh, if you think that's weird um, then you're in for a surprise perfectly in tune with nature and one with the wind right so this is the very first thing that I saw on this video that really got my attention I'll just play this. There's no no editing at all in this section. See this palm? Uh, is it a palm tree? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with the trees. Just here, halfway down, you'll see um, a Sasquatch blending, or some creature blending, and it is transparent. Just here, watch. Um, there. So as you can see, I haven't I haven't even stabilized this. Play again. It's pulling down with this right right hand, pulling down a branch. Here's a stabilized version. Just there, you see the dark uh, hand reaching up, grabbing a branch and pulling it down. there scroll um, scroll back and forth forward back see the um, the elbow pivoting here as it reaches up and the elbow st straightens out reaches up for the branch grabs onto the branch and pulls it down there I know it seems to be it's moving with the wind and it, you would think it's just a wind but I don't believe it is just a wind. You 
seems to have intent. Play that. Okay. Zoomed in. Again, the uh, dark hand. The dark area is the hand. And this is the face here, I believe. Looking at you. Uh, reaching up, grabbing on, and pulling the branch down. Reaching up, grabbing on, pulling the branch down. And again, see the dark shape is the hand. Reaching up, grabbing on. See as it grabs onto the branch here. There, scrolling back and forth. And it's grabbed on, now it's pulling down the branch. And if you still can't see where it is, I've done this um, fading in and out, highlighted the area again, which I believe is the head uh, profile, uh, right side. And again, reaching up, grabbing on, and pulling back, maybe to cover the face. Like hiding. And black and white. Okay, this is uh, possibly some other uh, individuals, which I found very interesting. How the color changes as it, I'll play it now, uh, original speed. No, no audio. The brown areas seem to be more significant um, to me. This one here that looks like something sitting with its back against the tree. There. Scrolling forward. But I do believe this is one with its back towards you, towards us. And uh, you can see the dark sort of a V dark area like the on the back which patty has scrolling back see the head turning the head is turning this one to the left back forward so two shoulders uh, left shoulder right shoulder and the back of the head here And this is another um, group of uh, Sasquatches hiding behind um, these leaves here. Just to watch this in this V here. This is the unstabilized vision. Difficult to tell from this point. He actually has his fingers holding down the leaves. Now it's in this position here. It's very, very sketchy in the beginning, but then it kind of evens out around um, this point. There. So we have the conical head. These are the fingers holding down the leaves, scrolling forward and back. Obviously, the two eyes and kind of a V shape um, crease in the in the forehead above the nose. So these are the fingers holding down on the right hand, and this is the left hand. Same thing, holding down the leaves. So that is a Sasquatch looking directly at you. Here also, same one, slightly enhanced contrast. Scrolling forward. Obviously that it's been zoomed in quite a lot. And the pixels are, the quality isn't great. Scrolling back, trying to get that. Um, there, good. And next, uh, even more contrast added. 
sharpness. There. Almost looks like it has a scar on the eye, on the eyebrow. Again, fingers here. Black and white. The uh, one finger goes up at one point. Black and white doesn't seem to help in this case. Ah, there we go. I do believe that is a Sasquatch. Um, the consecutive frames. The right shoulder here. As you can see, the right shoulder, as it curves there, the head, frame by frame. Look at these fingers there. Look at that. And this is another one. So we have the one I just mentioned here, and we also have another one, or two or three, in this area. But we're kind of focus on this one. Just uh, scrolling forward, and you can also see movement. Zoom in here, yeah, right? Where are we? Um, um, are there? What is this? Just watch here. Wait, are oh, there? There it is. That's interesting. Something moving down, up and down there. But the uh, main thing I want to show you is... Wait, 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 there. Okay. A nose and a brow ridge, nostrils. This is the side profile of a young one, and that's the ear. And that's the head there. Contrast added. Sharpness, etc. Just scrolling forth with the cursors back and forward. And um, black and white. Scrolling forward, an enhancement still of the of the previous one, and here's a close up of the fingers holding down. This is the one we just saw. Okay, next we have, which is something we've already seen in a, a previous video, the anomaly or or whatever you want to call it, in the top of this tree. Which kind of caught my eye, like a flash of light, just there. And again, and one more time. This is the what happens around the same time as the, the, um, the one, the transparent looking one here. Up there. Again, just scroll back and forth. Backwards, forwards. That's no bird. Okay, thanks for watching. Sorry, my voice is a bit croaky today. Uh, it's a long night. Thank you.